Hello and welcome to semi-final stay at the Macau Open 2014. A tournament part of the Badminton World Federation Grand Prix Gold Series, a tier just below Super Series levels. We are in Macau, the island just outside Hong Kong, known as the Las Vegas of Asia. Beautiful historic buildings alongside the best modern technology has got to offer. The multiple sports pavilion in the heart of the city with a spectator capacity of approximately 3,000 people. A tournament dating back to 2006 and a permanent fixture of the International Badminton Grand Prix Gold Series since 2007. A tournament having a total prize money fund of 120,000 US dollars and for the first time we have live broadcasting from this event. And as you can see we have a very exciting lineup for you this afternoon and it's starting off with the men's doubles by Yunayaka and Adi Yusuf of Indonesia against the runners-up from the Commonwealth Games Danny Krinsnanta and Chayu Triachat of Singapore. This is followed by the women's singles Busanan Ongbong Ungpan of Thailand up against the two times bronze medalist from the World Championships PV Sindhu of India. Then followed by the men's singles HS Pranoy of India against Wong Wing Ki of Hong Kong. This followed by women's doubles, the young Chinese combination Wu Dong Ni and Yu Xiao Han up against Vivian Hu and Wong Ki Wei, the bronze medalist at this year's Asian Games. And then follow, finally followed by the mixed doubles, Kim Dok Yong and Gu Ara from Korea against, once again, Danny Krisnanta and Vanessa Neo of Singapore. And here we have the way to the uh, semi-final. And as you can see, we are concentrating on the lower part of the draw. And this is the last tournament of the 2014 Rugby Gold Series. A total of 10 tournaments this year, and it all started in Lucknow, India, in January. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2014 Macau Open Badminton, part of the BWF Rugby Gold Series semi final. The first match of the day is men's doubles. Let's welcome the technical officials and players. And the announcement was made. Players and officials are just about to take the courts and ready for the first semi final of this afternoon. And we have the two Indonesians, Wayu Nayaka and Adi Yusuf, coming onto court first, followed by Danny Krisnanta and Chayu Triachat of Singapore. First, we will have a presentation of the players by this speaker in the stadium here. And the umpire from Malaysia and the service judge Studio Brusula of the Philippines. Players from India, Wayu Nayaka Aya Makari Yamira and Ade Yusuf against players from Singapore, Eddie Bala, Chris Mata and Chavi Chiaka. We're getting ready to 
Toss of the coin. Choice of ends who to start to serve just before they have a two minutes warm up. And then we're ready to commence this first semi final of the day. I have a feeling the Indonesians, they uh, won the toss and chose ends. And they chose the fast end. I've been following the tournament, obviously, all week, sitting here in the stands and watching the players play. And, uh, and as I understand it, uh, and that's what I've been seeing, it's uh, a fair draft from one end to the other. And it looks like the Indonesian chose to go and have the fast end first. And in the picture, the two Singaporeans, it's Danny Krishnanta closest to the picture here. And uh, he's, uh, here we've got him in the picture. He's uh, just, he will turn 26 years in December, and he is actually born in Indonesia and became a citizen in Singapore in 2013. His partner, Chayut Triachat, is uh, born in Thailand and became a citizen in Singapore in 2010. Here we've got him in the picture. So two players born outside Singapore now representing Singapore since uh, either 2010 or 2013. And to their opponents, to Indonesians, very young, Wayu Nayaka, the uh, more stocky one of the two players, is 22 years old, and uh, his partner, Adi Yusuf, here in the picture, Ready to the play? more slim one, is only 24 one years old and born in Surabaya, East Java. And uh, we are about to commence. And when I said earlier, it seems like the two Indonesians has chosen ends. And uh, let's get play to start. I will then talk about the, the player's performance, the combination's performance, as and when we get off to a start. And here you can see the umpire from Malaysia and the service judge from the Philippines. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Danny Bawa Kristanta and Chayu Triachat, Singapore, and on my left, Wayu Nayaka Arya Pankayanira and Adi Yusuf, Indonesia. Chayu Tresha to serve to Wayu Nayaka. Love all, play. Love is over. One love. So here we have Adi Yusuf serving to Chris Nanta. Two love. That was a good serving by Adi Yusuf. And that's called in as well. Three love. So what a good start for the Indonesian combination. Yeah, and here we see what try Chayu try One, chat is all three. about. He is so very good from the front of the court, and here we had a very fine example of it, how he was able to finish and intercept from the front of the court. The 
three. Singaporean pair. His best result was uh, possibly getting a silver in this year's Commonwealth Games in oh. Glasgow. And uh, they Summer's won over. the Sri Lankan Open Challenge Four, Tournament two. also in 2014. Got to the China Masters Grand Prix Gold semi-final. And they won in the Malaysian Grand Prix Gold as well. Is over. Earlier this year, Three, so four, four very fine performances this year of the pair from Singapore. The ranking at the moment is 27. And uh, that's actually the best ranking ever. So they are at the highest of their career so over. far. But who knows Five, what three. will happen in the future. They have been playing very well this year. So uh, let's see if they can make it all the way to the final of this tournament in Macau. Six. Three. And to their opponents from Indonesia, serving here this time, it was short. Some is over. They Four, got to the Indonesian six. Masters semi-final uh, in September this year, and they won the Dutch Open in 2013. And uh, their world ranking at the moment is 36, and the best ranking was in November 2013, Five, when they six. were all the way up to 22 on the world ranking. Some is over. Seven, five. Deception by Wayu Nayaka. Oh, what a miss! What a miss! Eight five. Chayo Triachat desperately unhappy with that. Look at that. Here we had it in slow motion. So the Indonesians maintain their three point lead, eight five up. Nice flick serve here. And once again, Triachad intercepting at the net. That's where he loves to, Six, to stand at eight. the front of the court. And having his partner, Krishnanta, working very hard at the back and trying to maintain the attacks as best as possible for him to intercept. Service over. Nine, six. Yeah, well left. Hi, Chris Nanta. over. Seven, nine. And not only is there a uh, drift alongside the court, but there's actually also a sideway drift. And uh, it's going to the right of the camera here. And obviously oh. this shot was going with the drift, and that's why Chris Nanta was so very confident over. to leave it. Ten, seven. Here, desperately trying to close the gap. Eight, ten. See if that's possible, but so far, a lot of the points has been going with the uh, receiver. So let's see if uh, Triachat can change that trend. Not to be. So going into the mid-game interval. Over. 
11, with 11 8, eight in the lead to the Indonesians. And while we're having the uh, the interval here, I can say that the uh, the two Indonesia, sorry, the two Singaporeans, Chris Nanta and Triachat, they really, really had to work very hard to get to this uh, semi-final. In the first round, they beat a pair from Chinese Taipei, and it went the full distance, three games, where they won 21-17 in the third. And in the second round, which was the pre-quarters, they also had to go to three games seconds. and won 21-14 against 20 seconds. a young pair from China. Yesterday in the quarter-final, they beat uh, Wang and Zhang from China, 22-20, 21-18. So that was, once again, a very close match. So they had to fight very hard to get here to this semi-final of today. Play. Have to watch out on that side. Have to watch 12, out for the drift. Eight. Be very careful. The drift is not taking the shuttle outside that sideline. That's going wide as well. Yeah, if you 13, have it in the picture eight. here, you could see the Indonesian coach really telling his players as well, watch out for the drift. Second decision here Four. by Adi Youssef. Because, Sorry, Zoma. as you can see, if we get the, the Nine, coaching picture 30. here, talking to his coach Adi Youssef, and both of them agreeing that you know, watch out for the drift, it's keeping it in. Sum is over. Fourteen nine. That is really well played by Adi Yusuf. Look at how 15, he is able nine. to counter-attack that one and cross-court. That's perfect. Look at that. Chris Nanta completely sent the wrong way. Obviously trying to cover his partner, Triochet. Paul. Oh. Some is over. 10, 15. if the Singaporean pair is going to have a chance to win this first opening game. I actually think this is the time they have to make a move. 16-10 looks very difficult. 16-10. Very, very short. They were lucky to get away with it. The lift from Triachat was woefully short. 11, 17. But they got away with it this time. Good reflex by Chris Nanta. And able to finish it at the net here. But 11, 17. Seems to be a tall order for the two Singaporeans. Seated second in the tournament here, and the two Indonesians are seated fourth. Sum is over. 18, 11.
So it's over. 12, 18. Oh, waiting for that one. Try a chat. 13, 18. Covering that mid-court area so very, very well here. But I suspect it's a little bit too little, too late. 14, 18. Come back here by the Singaporeans. Try a chat serving well. And serving the last four points. Oh. Now make it five. 16 18. And they're getting 16, very close 18. now. Five points in a row. Serve again six points in a row. 17, 18. So is the more experienced players from Singapore, Chris Nanta. And try a chat. Able to pull this one off. Serve is over. Against the two Indonesians, just 22, 19, 21 years 17. old. Good interception by Yusuf. Scoring a vital point here for the Indonesians. And only two points away from securing this first oh! game. And here we have game point, three of them. 20, game point, 17. Good attack by the Singaporeans here. See if they can finish it. Yes, they can. Save the first one. Some is over. 18 20. 18 20. giving good advice to his players. It's crucial for them to take this opening game. Still have another two game points. Oh, well saved by a try a chat. But here it comes. Yes. Second time of asking. 21. First game. 18 by in 14 Aria, minutes. Yanira and Adi Yusuf. 21-18. A very forceful finished here by Wayu Nayaka. And uh, while we are having this uh, interval, two minutes interval between games, I can tell you that uh, the two young Indonesians have played a very, very good tournament. So far, they have lost the game, winning the, uh, the first match against a pair from Chinese Taipei. Liu and Yang, and it was 21-18, 21-12. And then they beat 
Choi and Kang from Korea, 21-15, 21-17. And yesterday in the quarterfinal, it was Andrew Ellis and Peter Mills from England. And uh, they beat them 21-15, 21-19. So, so far, they have lost the game in the tournament and just secured the first game here against Chris Nanta and Trya Chat from Singapore. But what a good run it was, six points in a row for these two guys from seconds. Singapore. They almost seconds. caught up, 16-18, before the Indonesian pair Ready? composed himself again and got back into the groove. Second game, love all, play. Love is over. One love. So it will be interesting to see who will benefit the most. The Indonesians are slightly more a defensive combination. Obviously, they would love to play against the drift because then they don't have to care too much about. Two love. You know, be careful of lifting it out on the baseline. But on the other hand, the two Singaporeans they love to attack, and will the playing with the drift, add on to the power from Chris Nanta here, and then Whoa. possibly secure some more points. Some Interesting to watch, let's see what will happen. One, two. Call out and see here from my commentary position, which is far up in the stands. I must say, I think that was a correct call. Very close to the line, but yes, I think it was out. Good call by the line judge. Sub is over. Three, two. Decisive Two. move by Triachat. Born in Thailand, now living and representing Singapore. Has got uh, a business marketing diploma, has education, and very much into uh, properties. Oh. Yeah, well played by. Adi Yusuf here, over. making full use of the drift. Three, four. That side, you played against the drift, and uh, look at this, it's not going out as what Chris Nanta was hoping. Kept in by the drift, well played by the young Indonesian here. Four, all. Shot by Ayunayaka. Oh! Yeah, well played, well constructed by Five, the young four. Indonesian Ayunayaka. Saved that shot from the uh, low position on the forehand side. Really good shot. He played cross court there, getting out of trouble. Serve. And here we see a very fine example of Triachat 
playing with the drift, how difficult it was for him to control it. It was way long at that baseline. Look at this. No, no. So the Indonesians being four, two down, suddenly now six, four up, four points in a row. And they make it five points here. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautifully played by Adi Youssef. Completely Seven, wrong footing four. here, Danny Krisnanta. And uh, look at this shot. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Perfect shot by Adi Youssef and secured the fifth consecutive point here for the Indonesians. Thank you. 7-4 up. Danny. Once again, Ali Youssef Eight, is four. on a roll here, smoking hot, very well played. A tough shot to get there cross, try to have a look here. Oh, he's covering that one and then cross court. Yes, inside that sideline. So that's six points in a row now. Oh. I'm Some sure the Indonesians were very happy with Five, that run of points. Eight. is over nine five yeah, that is really something you cannot afford in today's game as a service mistake equals a point not like the old scoring system Whoa. some eight years ago where you had to serve to get the point it's Ten, been changed five. to running scores uh, three games best of three games to 21 should you get to 20 or you have to win with a margin of two points, and then 29 or it becomes sudden death. Sub is over. Six, ten. This time, Wayunaya has tried the same ten. shot as what Yusuf played just before, but this time it was not successful. A very alert trial shot at the front of the court. Ensure that, that he did not get away with it. Eight, ten. Best rally of the match so far. Nine. Danny Krisnanta managed to finish the rally with a very, very fast drive. Here it comes. And well, within the baseline, and suddenly the Singaporeans have scored four points in a row from 10 5 down. Now it's only 9 10. Desperately important if you are a Singaporean fan. And here the fifth point in a row. And suddenly it's all square. Ten all. Ten all. And with the smallest margins, the two pairs will go into the mid-game interval. 11-10. He 
11 10 interval and this time it was the Singaporean pair scoring six points in a row first it was the Indonesians from two to eight six points in a row there and then it was the Singaporeans from five to eleven and now having a lead the smallest of margins 11-10 up here at the mid-game interval. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Thank you, coach. The umpire is urging the players to get ready. One minute is up. Got 11, to get ready to 10, play. Play. How will the Singaporeans be able to continue the run? All right. Oh. That looked very, so very close to me. It's called in. Eleven all. And Chai would try a chat. He was really looking at that twice, but uh, agreed with the uh, line judge. And it's eleven all. Solid attack so is over. from the Singaporeans here. 12 11. And maintaining their lead of one point, 12 11. So will the Indonesians lose their first game of the tournament? It's a fierce fight here for the initiative. is over 12 all Is over. 13, So apart from uh, being two love up in the beginning of this second game, it's the first time that the Sing Singaporeans are up two points and now it's three points. 15-12 is the lead. Smash, perfect smash by Chris Nanta here. 16, very, very 12. steep. Yeah. 
and the Singaporeans now got four points in a row from 12 all to 16 12. And once again, the smash from Danny. 17, Chris Nanta really proved to be very decisive. He's a good hitter, very solid, hard-working player, kind of the glue in, the, in this men's doubles from Singapore, the hard-working, always retrieving, covering his partner. We're a try a chat. Service very over. unlikely him, as what we just saw here. 13, it's 17. very decisive at the net. I think the two young Indonesians here, they have to start thinking, you know, how to change. I think the style of play has been very much the same from of all play first game and until now. And I think the two Singaporeans are slowly but surely getting an understanding of how they play and therefore starting to counter-attack it a little bit better. 14-17. Maybe some extra pace will be the answer to what the two Indonesians are requiring now. Angle shot there. Hey! Service over. 18, 14. Yeah, the idea was right. How do you use it? It's a five-point lead. 19, 14. 19, 14. Chances are that this match will go into a third and deciding game. And for the first time in this tournament, the two Indonesians losing a game. That's going wide. Have to watch out for that drift again. Some is over. But 15, plenty 19. Of scope here. 19, 15 with the Singaporeans. for Adi Yusuf and his partner now. Mayu Nayaka to see whether they can close the gap. So important with the serve here. Good serving, good interception. Yes. Well played by Yusuf. 16, 19. But he's only got to do that another four or five times. So <laughs> it's a tall order. Not easy in this running score system. A very good serve, and once again, points 17, for the Indonesians. 19. Serve is over. Twenty. And that is setting up three. Game point. 17. Game points for Danny Chris Nanta and Chayud Triachat from Singapore 2017. And can they convert on this first one? Very yeah. nice counter attacking shot by Triachat. And that secured the second game, won by Danny second game Nanta for Singapore. And the Indonesians have lost the first game, game of the tournament.
Well, just to elaborate a little bit on the uh, past results, I can inform you that uh, Chayut Priyajat, when he represented Thailand, up until 2010, he won the bronze medal at the Commonwealth Games. So he's got two, actually he's got three medals for the, from the Commonwealth Games. Uh, one silver in the men's doubles this year in Glasgow and the bronze with the Singaporean team. And then there was a bronze in 2010 in the mixed doubles. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Why you? You see? Final game, love all, to play. Love! Serve is over. One, love. Hold. Serve is over. One, all. So it goes without saying that obviously it's very important to get a good start in this third and decisive is over. game. Two, one. And that's not the way to do it. From Danny Krishnanta. Serving too short of that first service line. Three, one. Adi Yusuf here just cautioned by the umpire not to show too much aggression towards your opponents. Oh, that's well played by Chris Nanta. Very well Service taken over. at the net. Two, four. And an important point to keep the Singaporeans in the game here. I really, really like that shot Five, from two. Yusuf. Not for the fact that he played the shot and he uh, took the uh, the top of the net, but it was the way he played it, the chance he took. He dared to play a very delicate shot in a very difficult situation. So that was well played. A good chance Sorry, taken. Summer. Three, five. It's actually one of the things that you have to be able to do is to play a very tight net shot even though your opponent is standing up there ready to pounce on it. I missed it by Vayu. Yeah. And Ali Yusuf couldn't get all the way up to it. Four, five. And obviously gave partner lots of trouble. And look at that, and an easy finish by Chris Nanta. Four. 
Yeah, well taken. Good to see Chris Nantik can all. really play good net play as well. It's not only try a chat. It's a good sign of a good doubles. Both players can play from the front or from the back. Sub is over. Six, five. Is over. Six, all. Sub is over. Seven, six. Yeah, good. He didn't uh, leave that one. No, I Eight, think he could six. be tempted, but he did not. Yusuf took no chances on this one, just floored it. And I think that was a very, very good decision because you never know on that side with the drift and everything. So, good decision. Paul. Nine, six. Taken really well taken here by Yusuf. Partner, why are you six. calling it out? But he did not listen to his partner, he took it anyway. And I think once again that's a very good decision because you've got to watch out for that drift once again. Ah, oh, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. Well played by Trier Chat. Seven, ten. these long runs of points nine ten just prior to this the Indonesians they took five points in a row from five till ten and now the Indonesians has taken four so it goes very much in runs of many points this match is very unusual for men's doubles Yes, and it's all square. Ten all. Ten all. And once again, only one point in it between these two pairs when it comes to the mid-game interval.
stop is over. 11, 10, interval, change ends. And this time it's uh, the Indonesians 11, 10 up in the second game. It was the two Singaporeans 11, 10 up at the mid game interval. And of course, later on this afternoon, we will see uh, Danny Krishnanta with his partner, Vanessa Neo, from Singapore in this semi final of the mixed doubles as well. That will be the last match of this afternoon. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Thank you, Cole. Thank you, Cole. Thank you. And the umpire desperately trying to get the coaches off the court and get play to starter again. Eleven, ten, play. Spring gone. Some is over. From why you? Eleven all. Almost impossible to control it when the string break. At the same time, when you play the shot, so very often you make a mistake on that shot. And as normal courtesy, just testing the new racket. Not because of the racket, much more because of the tension in the strings just to make sure that it's the same as the previous one. Yeah, well played. By try a chat. 12-11. Making sure his opponent is not getting away with that block to the net. But as earlier said, I think Adi Yusuf sometimes have to play shots like that. Testing his opponents. This time it did not work out. Some is over. 12 all. It's very difficult to flick serve from the side or end where the Singaporeans are standing now. So obviously there is so much more pressure on the low serve. And Adi Yusuf made full advantage of that. Recovery by Wayu. Yeah, but the Singaporeans kept the attack. Really added on the pressure. 13-12. Thank you. 14-12. So for the first time since tenor. And this third game, one of the pairs is two points up. Oh! Once so again, Danish Krasnanta, that is something you cannot afford. It's very costly in this scoring system. Oh, lucky shot. I try a chat. Some is over. 
15, Took the 13. top of the tape, but got over. Very powerful finish. Look at that. What a thump. Service over. 14, 15. Oh, that's the string gone. I'll try yeah. that. So is over. Very happy to get that one. 16, Did 14. not have to play any more shots in that rally. Chris Nanta took care of that. And I think try chat here celebrating. Very happy. Because surely a mistake will come from that racket when the string is gone. Yes. So try chat just testing the rackets. One more service mistake. 15, 16. But the problem is for Chris Nanta here is that it's so difficult to flick it because he's playing with the drift and obviously that will go out on that service line. So he's more or less forced into playing these low services. And the opponent knows and obviously they're very quick on the attack. Adding on the pressure. Hold. Oh! 16, all. As well left by Chris Nanta here on the baseline. It's a difficult 16. call. Once again, I have to remind you of that drift. Uh, but that is well left. Let. Adi. No more delay. Yeah, the. Umpire is telling Adi Yusuf to get ready. No more delaying tactics. Hey. 18, 16. Somehow, it looks a little bit from the body language. Obviously, the two Singaporeans up now by two points, 18, 16. But the way they, they walk about on the court and the way they sort of look at one another, they look very determined to win oh. this one. And here, only two points away now from victory. 19-16 up. Desperately important to the Indonesians. 
fault. 2016 would have been a difficult Service situation, over. but now saved it a bit. 17, 17 19. 19. Two points gap. Dennis. The pressure is still on. But somehow they have to find that energy, that belief that they can do it. So we are in for a thriller here. Just one point between the two pairs. It's all about getting that initiative now. It's not nice to be on the defensive. Danny. Sorry, the Singaporeans really played a positive rally here. 20, match point, 18. All due to the, the big man here serving Jayut Triachat. Oh, he's not going to serve this. Danny Krishnanta is going to serve. And oh, how important it is for him to get this one over. He's been making a few mistakes earlier and the pressure's on the surf. Two match points, and that is short once again. Some is over. Uh, he is not happy with himself. 19, That's uh, perfectly 20. understandable. One match point saved by the Indonesians, 19-20. Ah. Can Chris Nanta and Triajat convert? This second match point. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. 21 19. Match won by Danny Bauer Kristanta. And Tayu Triachat, 18-21, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that was the final, final shot here. And uh, confirmation of the scores. 18-21, 21-17, 21-19 in 60 minutes, the two Singaporeans. Danny Chris Nanta and Chayun Dryachat are not, we'll say, safely through to the final, but they are through to the final tomorrow afternoon.
And after these very fine pictures of the first match of this afternoon, the men's doubles, we are now ready to commence the women's singles, where we have Busanan Ong Wong Bungpan from Thailand up against India's PV Sindhu, the two times bronze medalist from the World Championship in 2013 and 2014. The first Indian player ever to achieve that. And here we have the players onto court. It's uh, the smaller Busanan. Thailand, followed by the tall and lanky PV Sindhu of India.